What's up, Bird Gang? This is your boy, Bry Wolf. Thank you for tuning in to Eagles Real Talk. Yesterday, the Eagles destroyed the Lions. And I mean destroyed. If we didn't pull our starters in the fourth quarter, I think we may have scored 55, maybe 60 points. I'm talking about just destruction in Detroit. Um, I almost felt bad for Dan Campbell because that coach, he's got a lot of heart. And I know he puts a lot into it, but... It's obvious that the Lions may not win a game this year. But let's get more into the Eagles game plan going into the game. Who who would have thought that the run game would have appeared on a spooky Sunday in October? You know what I'm saying? It took a long time. I was getting really scared, quite frankly, if this offense was ever going to start working. And lo and behold, it happened. It happened, guys. We ran the ball. We ran the ball, guys. We ran the ball. And guess what happened? We produced. You know, I've been saying for weeks and weeks to help out Jalen Hurts, you're going to need a run game. Miles Sanders went out last week after the first or the second drive, after a very productive first drive on the ground. And, you know, they just went back to pass, 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 heavy screens, bubble screens, short passes, you know, just wasn't really looking to actually, you know, get it going offensively on the ground. And this week, we had a lot of jokes going into this game with the whole flower gate controversy. And you know what? You know, we, we joked around about it. Everyone made their, made their uh, you know, their, their jokes and their comments, but... The team, you know, they responded, you know, I don't know if it was just, you know, uh, they they just wanted to, you know, back their coach after, you know, they seen him getting bashed all week or what, but they responded. The run game was phenomenal. Let me check out the, the final rushing stats, 236 yards, and most of that came in the first half. Uh, Jalen Hurts, he was very efficient. Um, he averaged 10 yards a rush. He was very efficient and Boston Scott did his thing. He averaged five yards. Jordan Howard averaged 4.8. I mean, this is what we wanted to see. Power ground game football, um, especially with the young quarterback. And we finally got it. You know, they brought the, the flower power yesterday and we got the win, man. And uh, it was a beautiful thing. The defense just was stifling. They were just, you know, Jared Goff had nothing to do all game but run around with his, you know, like a chicken with his head cut off, you know, just scrambling everywhere. Um, Sweat had two sacks the first half. He should have had three, but he got held, and the refs didn't call that. Um, but he should have had three sacks, and he, he was just phenomenal yesterday. He was just all over the field. He was a monster, and uh, yeah, com commend the defense. Jonathan Gannon, I think there was only one drive towards the end of the second half where you know, they went back to that soft, laid-back defense. But besides that, they were firing on all cylinders. Darius Slay got his, you know, touchdown back in Detroit. Real happy for him. And, yeah, this, this team is flying high. I'm not even going to go into next week. We'll save that for tomorrow's preview. But I'm just really happy with what I seen yesterday. I'm just hoping that they stick to this run game because if they stick to the run game, Jalen Hurts is going to have a great season going forward. You know, I think he's had a solid season so far. But we stick to the run game. He's going to have that, you know, just that that power behind him that he hasn't all year, you know, and especially with Jordan. Jordan Howard looked like, man, he was on his Earl Campbell shit yesterday. Just, you know, just going through three, four defenders, dragging him for extra yards. He, he was he was great yesterday. And I've been pounding the table for him to play. And he finally got, you know, the burn that he needed on the field. So hopefully that, you know, will translate to next week. So we'll see what happens. I just wanted to touch in the morning after, let you guys know how I'm feeling about the team. I'm still, uh, you know, I'm still down on this team because one, one game beating the worst team in the league shouldn't get me, you know, hype. But it was good to get a win and we scored over 40 points. So with that said, make sure to hit that subscribe button. There's going to be a lot of Eagles content coming this week. So make sure to hit that subscribe subscribe button like on this video leave a comment let me know how you thought the birds did yesterday and uh yeah on to week nine i'll catch you next time i'm bry wolf signing out this has been eagles real talk keep it real always